So what else do we know about the Justice League Mercedes-Benz AMG Vision Gran Turismo? And then you've got this bat. I've got some sort of set nav. I've got the uh, rocket launcher here. If I just went for it, I don't know, I'd probably take out the whole of the Grosvenor House Hotel, so. guys welcome back to SAB TV and today is a very special day we are on the dawn of the Justice League about to hit us on the 17th of November and myself and Craig have been given exclusive access to not one but two of the cars that are going to be in that film now the first car is going to be the Mercedes AMG GT Vision and a lot of us will remember that from the uh, from the film not from the film from the game Gran Turismo which was launched in 2013 right, yeah. did you play the game I didn't but I did see the car so I was already excited about the car so this is a real privilege to me to see these cars in action but also behind me you can probably see there is the actual Batmobile now this is the first time that anybody has actually been allowed to sit in the Batmobile they've been allowed to look at it at Comic-Con but today me and Craig can actually get to sit in it which is pretty awesome so without further ado let me show you around some of these cars So the first thing I need to talk to you guys about is that specific car there. Now whilst Mercedes have made a full scale version of this, they've actually had to make that 110% or 10% bigger than it actually is. And the reason for that is for Ben Affleck to actually be able to fit into the car. Now that car there, whilst it looks very real and looks absolutely stunning, it's actually powered by a generator at the back because it is simply a concept car. But imagine if this car was to ever hit the streets, it'd be absolutely ridiculous. I mean, how awesome does that look? That long LED strip on the back and the F1 inspired rear fog or whatever you want to call it the bat the batman light the bruce wayne light but this thing is going to look absolutely bonkers in the movie so what else do we know about the justice league mercedes-benz amg vision gran turismo well it's a difficult one because it's not actually a real car it's a concept car so it's going to be hard to talk about facts and figures but the key message to take from this is that the justice league car so this specific car that has been used in the justice league trailers and is going to be in the justice league film was obviously initially created for the Gran Turismo 6 game back in 2013 but the important thing to know is that this specific AMG Vision Gran Turismo is the first Mercedes car ever transformed from an existing concept into literally a unique picture. If this thing was ever to see real life, if this was to actually become the car that they built in Gran Turismo, I guess the facts and figures that I can tell you about is that in the game, it produced 430 kW or 4, 585 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. But I think we need to talk about the sheer brilliance of the design. The Justice League AMG Vision Gran Turismo is simply stunning. It's so nice to look at. The custom interior that's been put in that is there to house Ben Affleck or Bruce Wayne, the billionaire himself, in the Justice League film. But it looks absolutely amazing. So not only is Justice League going to bring us an absolutely insane film, but it's also giving us a glimpse into the future. And Mercedes have absolutely nailed it with this car. And then you've got this bad boy. Now, this thing is actually drivable. It is actually drivable. It's running a V8, 650 horsepower. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, just have a look at it. It's bonkers. Now, I'm not sure how I'd feel about driving down the road with a cannon sticking out of it, but clearly it's a must have for Batman himself. I've got Craig here, obviously doing his bit, filming away. I can't believe I managed to get a Justice League media band. It feels a little bit surreal, if I must say, because I'm a massive DC Comics fan, also a Marvel fan. DC won't want me to say that, but 
I watched all of the video, all the films, and to physically be here with this bad boy is, is something that I never really, really thought would ever happen. And the fact that we've had journalists here, we've had actual TV crews here before us, and for me and Craig to get invited down to not only visually see the AMG concept car, but to obviously visually see the Batmobile again as well, it's, it's something that I'm never gonna forget. But I wanna jump in the car, let's do that. I never thought I'd actually say this, let's jump into the Batmobile. Gotta watch my head on that. <laughs> okay, so the Justice League Batmobile probably didn't nearly kill me, but you can see here as my left arm goes and gets grazed up by the side of the Batmobile itself, and here's the outcome. But who cares about me? Back to the car. That's a blooper right there. Oh. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. I mean the fact that this car is drivable, this must be an absolute monster to drive. It feels like I'm in a plane. Let me, let me show you what it looks like in here. I mean, look at that. It looks like an old war plane. You've got dials absolutely everywhere. Defense system activated. I've got some sort of sat nav. I've got the uh, rocket launcher here. If I just went for it, I don't know, I'd probably take out the whole of the Grosvenor House Hotel, so better stay away from that one. But it's absolutely bonkers. Absolutely nuts. And that thing over there, I love it. Try and get out. Hopefully getting out is easier than getting out. Practicality zero. So obviously as a superhero you normally tend to have some cool cars, but normally those cars tend to be production cars. But Bruce Wayne himself, or Ben Affleck in the Justice League Fit film, has obviously taken it to another level. And Mercedes have absolutely nailed it with this car. They have absolutely nailed it. If Mercedes are watching this, I pray to God that that's a glimpse to the future. Seriously, honestly, it's a stunning car. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the Justice League. 17th of November, it launches. This has been amazing. Guys, if you've enjoyed it, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, I'm gonna see you all on the next one. Thank you, bye bye.